most people consider the Illuminati to refer to the Bavarian Illuminati that was started by Adam Weishaupt in 1776. Weishaupt was a defective Roman Catholic priest who traded occult information to Meyer Rothschild so he could start his own New World Order. The common conception of the Illuminati is that they are a group of people who follow a philosophy known as Illuminism or Enlightenment, and that they trace their roots and history to the ancient mystery religions of Egypt, Babylon, and Mesopotamia. Out of these ancient religions, which were practiced secretly, arose this esoteric group which continued to practice these rites, traditions, that brought men to a certain level of godhood. This could not be further from the truth. The real Illuminati existed even before ancient Egypt, tracing their history to Atlantis, and have always been practicing Satanists, practicing the blackest magic known in the universe. The real Illuminati are the Venetians, and in the Bible they are referred to as the Canaanites. The term Canaan refers to a geographic region that was home to many different cultures and races. This is why you have so much confusion in regards to this subject. Canaan is also known as Phoenicia, but this area was also home to the Philistines, the Danites, Sidonians, or Tyrians. Geogra geographically, they're Phoenician. It's the same as California. You don't say you're a Californian if you're from San Francisco. You say you're from San Francisco. Now, there are certain groups amongst this region who are known for practicing child sacrifice. And that is the tribe of Dan, the Sidonians, the Philistines, the Moabites, the Ammonites, but not the Hebrews. The Phoenicians were known as sea merchants, specializing in freight transportation. They also were known as invaders because they would pillage who they could, but would do business with empires whom they were not strong enough to fight against. Similar to the way cancer spreads in a process called metastasis, these Venetians exported their religion of child sacrifice and worship to Baal and Astaroth, their banking systems, their families, and looked for new locations where they could establish their form of oligarchical dominations that they are accustomed to. They initially sailed and colonized parts of Phoenicia, Cyprus, North Africa, specifically Carthage, where Astarte became known as Tanit, and Baal as Baal Hamon. There are still Tophets found in these regions where they sacrifice children, and there's proof for that. After Carthage fell, they moved to Sicily, Malta, Sardinia, Spain, and later they created the Venetian party in France, Dutch, Dutch the Netherlands, Scotland, and ultimately in England. But their headquarters still to this day are in Venice and Sicily. The Illuminati, the Illuminati control the banking system through their interconnected central banks. This is their primary source of control. The royal families of Europe are the black nobility Venetian families that ultimately hold the highest ranking in the group, just under the, uh, uh, just under this satanic priesthood, which is at the Vatican. Now, under these royal family members um, of Europe, below them are thirteen families, including the Rockefellers, Rothschilds the Warburgs, the Bruce, Cavendish, the Medici, Hanover, Habsburg, Krupp, Plantagenet, Romanov, Sinclair, and Windsor. Uh, some of those are actually some of the royal families themselves. Um, now these guys are supported by another 300 families that are subservient to them. Among them are the Agnelli family, the Bushes, the Fords, the Coons, Loebs, Montgomery, Morgan, Roosevelt, Schiff, Henry Kissinger, Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, Bill Gates, the Clintons, Warren Buffett. Together, these people control practically all power and money in the world. But the real power, however, is the Venetian, the Venusian elite. And the Vatican is the nerve center of this elite priest class. And the Pope is the head priest. See, the Vatican is not Christian, never has been Christian, and never will be Christian. It has always been the temple of Janus and Juno. Juno, who is known as Astaroth in the original Hebrew Bible. And Juno became known as the Virgin Mary, or Virgin Maria Regina in Latin. It's quite hilarious when you know your history um, that these people try to pass off Astarte as a virgin when 
Astarte, originally known as Astaroth, is actually the patron goddess of prostitutes because she's a whore. But uh, that's Satan for you. Now, and also, you know, they they are Astaroth and 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 uh, Belial. Those are the darkest uh, angelic intelligences that we have in this universe. They they uh, demand child sacrifice. There's that's just completely unacceptable, and this goes against the will of God. Now, it was the first council of Ephesus in the 5th century in which Astaroth was proclaimed Theotokos. A title, a title rendered in Latin is Mater Dei, in English, Mother of God. In the original and only Bible, which is the Hebrew Bible, which comes di directly from God, from the actual causal source of existence known as Echie. That's the universal all mind. And also from Yah. The all one, the, the first cause, the prima mundi. Now there are clear and specific directions in how to conduct ourselves in this universe that they created. And one of the clear ones is not to worship Baal and Astaroth, the so-called queen of heaven, and not to sacrifice children to them. Now, that being said, the Rome uh, you know, the Roman Kaisers, they borrowed a lot of their religion from the Etruscans. The Etruscans obviously borrowed a lot of their uh, religions from the Venetians. It's the Venetians who started all the mystery schools in, in the Mediterranean. Um, of course, they always taught people how to get into Satanism which is exactly what Freemasonry does today because Freemasonry is a uh, Venetian creation. So of course the Caesars um, who really always worshipped uh, Astaroth but they themselves started incorporating um, not just them being kings but they also became a high priest and thus they uh, they inherited the epithet Pontifex Maximus which literally means greatest bridge builder, which is a reference to the Kaiser or Caesar being a bridge builder to God. Well, of course, his God is not really God, but a demon. And that demon is Ashtaroth. And these people are the high priests of Ashtaroth, which is why they invoke Satan and Lucifer at the Vatican. So once you know your history, this is just, I mean, you know, the Septuagint tells you all of this. These people worship Venus. They worship Baal. They worship Astaroth. They've done that for for a very, very long time. And um, they are not Italian. They're Phoenician. They're Venetians. They've done this. They are the, the tribe of Dan. Uh, they've done this for a very, very long time. Now, the plans that they have for the United States... Um, is they have specific steps and plans to implement um, you could call nerve centers in the United States or power bases for regional activity. The United States has been divided up into seven major geographical regions um, under Illuminati control. Each region has localities within it that contain military compounds and bases that are hidden in remote isolated areas or on large private estates. These bases are used intermittently to teach and train generational Illuminati in military techniques, hand-to-hand -hand combat, crowd control, use of arms, and all aspects of military warfare. The Illuminati believe that the U.S. government, as well as the governments of most nations around the world, are destined to collapse. These will be planned collapses, and they will occur in the following ways. The Illuminati have planned first for a financial collapse that will make the Great Depression look like a picnic. This will occur through the maneuvering of the great banks and financial institutions of the world, through stock manipulation and interest rate changes. Most people will be indebted to the federal government through bank and credit card debt. The governments will recall all debts immediately, but most people will be unable to pay and will be bankrupted. This will cause a generalized financial panic which will occur simultaneously worldwide as these 
Satanists firmly believe in controlling people through, fi through finances. Next, there will be a military takeover region by region. As the government declares a state of emergency and martial law, people will have panicked. There will be an anarchical state in most localities, and the government will justify its move as being necessary to control panicked citizens. The cult-trained military leaders and people under their, di under, under their di direction will use arms as well as crowd control techniques to implement this new state of affairs. This is why so many survivors under 36 years of age having military programming People who are not Satanists or who are not sympathetic to their cause will resist. These Illuminati, I call them, to be specific, they're really not Illumin. They are, they are, what would you say, Phoenician Satanists. Uh, these Phoenician Satanists expect this and will be and are being trained in how to deal with this eventuality. They are training their people in hand-to-hand -hand combat, crowd control, and if necessary, will kill to control crowds. These Phoenician Satanists are training their people to be prepared for every possible reaction to the takeover. Many mind control victims will also be called into duty with preset command codes. These codes are meant to call out a new, completely cult-loyal presenting system. Shatter codes programmed under trauma will be used to destroy or bury non-cult loyal altars. Military bases will be set up in each locality, and the next few years they will go above ground and be revealed. Each locality will have regional bases and leaders to which they are accountable. The hierarchy will, cl will closely reflect the current covert hierarchy. About five years ago, um, sorry, I'm reading this, got lost track. Uh, these people, these Venusian Satanists are completely dedicated to their cause. The Illumin, these Venusian Satanists firmly believe that it can, that they can easily overcome the 99%, the other 99% of the population, most of whom are untrained or poorly trained, such as weekend hunters. Even the local military will be overcome as the Illuminati will have regional cell groups with highly trained leaders. They also count on the element of surprise helping them during their takeover. Many of the highest leaders in the militia, in the militia branch of the Illuminati are of, or have been high officers in the military and so already have a good knowledge of which techniques will work best to overcome a region or a locality's defense. <clears throat> you know, this... we. There's been plenty of information as to how these guys want to take this country down. Also, they are planning a massive human depopulation program in 2020. They are planning to open a portal with CERN to let um, what commonly are known as gray aliens, but they're really demons. The, and it really is turning out that they are your, that's your, uh, that's your uh, ball and Astaroth right there. Um, uh, that they are um, planning to do a, a, a massive population and, and stage an alien invasion and have everyone st uh, start to worship these, these demons uh, by convincing people that these demons made humanity and that there is no God. So these are my contentions with the Illuminati. Uh, who are really this Venusian satanic cult. Um, they are keeping humanity imprisoned and entrapped. Um, this is the age of Aquarius. They are attempting to uh, destroy this age before, um, before um, it even gets a chance to uh, grow into fruition. This is obviously going against the law and word of God. Um, these people break all the commandments that were dictated by Ehye and Yah, who are the ones who ultimately are in charge of making this uh, universe that we're in. Uh, they have convinced a majority of the population to worship low-level demonic angels as gods through lies. Um, and they're keeping people in bondage when it's no longer their time to be in bondage. So, these are my contentions with this satanic cult.
and hopefully you guys feel the same way.